Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 28 of Book 1. But before we begin, let's remind ourselves of some definitions. First off, if we have two straight lines, that if they are drawn in any direction, continuously, forever and ever and ever, they never meet, then these two lines are considered to be parallel lines. If we have three lines that cross each other, the exterior to the opposite and interior angle would be the relationship between alpha and delta. So these two angles are what is called the exterior to the opposite interior angle. So with this in mind, let's describe what this proposition states. If we have two lines, A, B, and C, D, and a third line crossing them, then if the exterior and opposite interior angles are equal, in other words, if alpha is equal to delta, then A, B, and C, D are parallel. The second part of this proposition states that if the interior angles, in other words, beta and delta, sum up to the sum of two right angles, then again, A, B, and C, D are parallel. So let's begin with the first part of this uh, proposition. We have alpha is equal to delta. There we go. Now according to proposition 15, we know that this angle AGH is going to equal to alpha since it is a vertical angle to EGB. From proposition 27, we've already demonstrated that if the opposite interior angles are equal, then the two lines are parallel. So we've just demonstrated that AB and CD are parallel if alpha is equal to delta. Let's go to the second part of the proof now. We have beta plus delta sum up to two right angles. We know from proposition 13 that alpha plus beta is equal to two right angles since EH is a straight line. And we have delta plus beta is two right angles, alpha plus beta is two right angles. So that gives us that alpha plus beta is equal to delta plus beta. All equals being equals. If we cross off beta from both sides of our equation, we end up with alpha is equal to delta. So now we've just demonstrated that alpha is equal to delta. And using the methods that we described earlier, we now, if this is alpha, then AGH is alpha, and we have our opposite and interior angles equal. And if the opposite interior angles are equal according to Proposition 15, and so AB and CD are parallel. So on our second half of the proof, we've demonstrated that if beta plus delta is equal to 180 degrees, AB and CD are parallel. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.